Hello, hello. Um, this is my like fourth time recording this since the audio got corrupted and lots of other things happened. But anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how you can t uh, wrap text around objects in Tinkcad. I'm going to drag in a cylinder, and just to show you can use like basically any object. I'm going to just like draw a scribble here. You don't want it to be like uh too like curve like you don't want it to dip because it can like uh damage the text I guess you could say. I mean like it won't necessarily wrap the best and fit perfectly if you have like a big dip. So I'm just gonna do like a smaller type. So I'm just gonna turn this to ninety degrees. Okay, so we're gonna call this test. And now um, you want your uh, text to be smaller than the width of the object so you can either make the object's width larger or make the text smaller or both or whatever you want just make sure that the text is text's width it's smaller than this than the object so it's gonna scale this up like this like that and yeah so, next, what you're going to want to do is make a box, and you want the box to be larger than the object. It doesn't need to be exactly larger, it can just be like that much, so it's larger. So now, what you want to do is you want to use the text, make sure the text is a good size, so it fits, okay, it's like that. So now, you, what you want to do is set your text next to the box, and then you just want to make it really long. So like this it'll be super long looking so you want to make the text a whole and then hold down shift select the box and group them together this will give you a stamp as I call it so what you want to do with the stamp is you want to make the stamp a whole like this then what you want to do is you want to duplicate your object and I just make it a little bit bigger but it won't actually be bigger in the final product and then when you drag this over you just want to set that there select your duplicate larger one and shrink it down you want this to be underneath the text hole so just to make sure that um, there's not extra piece an extra piece at the top so you hold shift down and select the hole or the stamp as I call it and you want to group them together and then you'll have like this cut out of the text and then you can just drag or I'm going to use arrow keys so it's more precise just double tap those arrow keys and like that we have the text popping out and just to show you what this is doing is it's just duplicating this shape and then the stamp is just like cutting the text out and deleting the rest of the shape and just like making this text so then you can put it back inside but not totally like it is when it started like this but like a few more and just like that you'll have like your text and you can change the color in whatever you want so next I'm going to do the same thing just on this like this so get your text we're gonna call this um, test 2 and I'm going to rotate this up like this. And there we go. And I'm going to rotate it around like this. As so. And I'm just going to scale this down since I don't really want to scale the um, this too much. It can be in really any font. So I'm just going to choose serif. Why not? Or something a little bit different. Sans mono. Why not? Okay. So, after you have this text, you want to make it a hole. You can do this before or after you make the box. It doesn't really matter, but you just need it to be a hole in the end. So then, um, get your box bigger. Um, take your text and drag it like that through the box. Drag it up. Hold down shift and select the box. Group them together. You'll get this box. You want to make the box a hole. Duplicate your object. As before, I'm just going to make it a little bit taller so you can see it. I'm going to set the box 
right through it, select the object again, and make it smaller than the box hole. And then I'm going to hold down shift and select the box again, and I'm going to group them together. And just like that, you have the text right here. I'm going to press my back arrow twice, and like that, you have the text coming right out of that object. And as you can see, it's like actually like wrapped to that shape. So, yeah, I hope this tutorial has helped you uh, wrap in your text, and hopefully it was short enough. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!